Welcome to the onboarding video for new Admiral contributors. Firstly, if you navigate to the Admiral website under Community and click Contribute to Admiral, this shows you the high level overview of how you contribute to Admiral. We really appreciate anybody contributing to Admiral either via issues or raising feature requests or bug fixes that you may have spotted. But this demo is going to specifically focus on those willing to make code contributions. So if you're willing to make a code contribution, we recommend after you watch this video to get started by contacting us on Slack or commenting on an issue, and then we can get you repo write access. And then we recommend you take on our dummy issue for onboarding number 1839. Uh, and we'll leave this open for anybody that needs to go through such uh, practice. This issue is just talking about creating a dummy function that outputs a simple message, and it's purely there to help you practice our development process up until the point we make a pull request, um, but we won't actually merge it because of course it's just a, a dummy request. So if you've already contacted us, you've already got repo write access, you can assign yourself to this issue and you can move it over from our backlog on the project board to in progress. The next thing to do would be to look at the Admiral Dev website under developer guides. All of these vignettes are really useful for you to read through to understand exactly how we work and all of the conventions we use in Admiral. Um, for the purpose of this demo, we'll just focus on the development process, which gives you a step-by-step -step guide into how to make a, a pull request in, in, in Admiral. Okay, so first thing you'll do is navigate to our GitHub repo and you'll want to make yourself a feature branch. So the important thing about making a feature branch is not to make this from main, which is where we um, put all our releases. Um, for ongoing development, we work from devil. So you'll navigate to devil. Uh, and then when you make your feature branch, we use the naming convention where we always include the issue number first and then an underscore and an explanation of, of what you're doing, such as dummy in, in this case. And then we use the suffix of at devil. Um, I'll explain later why, why we use that. Um, and then you could create branch. As you can see, I've, I've already set one up for, for the purpose of this demo. The next thing you'll do if you're a brand new contributor on, on GitHub to open source, you should create yourself an SSH key or a personal access token so that you can sync up with your, your R Studio. I'm not going to cover that in this demo because you could Google to find out how to do that. In this case, because I've already set that up, I can copy the SSH to, to clone the repo and I can create a new project in R Studio. I can use version control git and I can copy the uh, URL there. It's also important that you use an R version greater than that minimum version shown in our description file. I won't create this project because I already have one set up. The next thing to do is to run rend restore because this will restore all of the packages and with the exact versions from our rend lock file. In our rend lock file though, we don't include um, the Admiral dependency packages because a lot of these are fast moving and ever changing. So we prefer that you use this guide from the readme to install the very latest devil versions. So you're very uh, much up to date with the latest dependencies for, for Admiral. Okay, the next thing to consider is how to actually make the code update date itself. There's many ways to do this in R for this simple example, but here's some code that, that should work. And I've already saved that under the R folder. Um, and then I've also created a unit test, which um, is stored under the test, test that folder. Note the, the naming convention of, of the unit test. At this stage, if I'm happy, um, I can stage these ready to commit. But if we look back to the development process, there's a number of uh, recommendations and reminders that you have to consider before you make a pull request. 
Things like, are you following the tidyverse style guide? Did you create unit tests? Some of them aren't relevant for here, like we haven't deprecated any functions. Um, did you update the documentation? Because we're creating a new function here, it would be important that we run DevTools document, and this would update things like the namespace and the, and the man files. I'm not gonna run that for this demo, but you would do that and you'd also um, commit and, and push back to GitHub these files. Our code hasn't impacted any Atom templates or vignettes, and I'm not going to update the, the news MD file because this is just dummy. We only tend to update the change log for anything which is a significant user facing change that users need to be aware of. And then finally, you can run package down build site, which will actually render a, a version of the package, a package down website for you so that you can check if your function is shown, for example, is it occurring in the correct place that you wanted on the, the reference page? And then once you're, you're happy, uh, you can commit and, and push all of those to GitHub, and then we can make a pull request. So if I click, oh, I haven't committed. So if I firstly commit, uh, and when you commit, it's important to have a commit message that includes the issue number with a hash so you can explain um, what you've done so i will commit i will push to github and now what i can do is when i navigate back to the github repo i can generate a pull request the next important thing is to remember not to um, want to merge back to main because we only do that for release so we are going to merge to devil and we have a convention where we always um, put closes and then the issue number in the pull request name so what this does is when we eventually do do the release to main this will automatically close your issue the other thing uh, at this stage that we could do is once we actually set the pull request and we're ready, we could remember to go back and on our project board, uh, mark this as, as in review. So when you create the pull request, um, the pull request itself has a template which gives you lots of reminders as well. So just in case you missed anything from the development process and you just check through these just to make sure you're happy that you, you've done everything. Um, one of them is a reminder to link the issue itself. So we can do that here by saying 1839 and linking the issue. So then the issue and pull request are, are always connected. Um, once you tick through all of those and you've actioned them, we have a number of CI workflows run in. This is where the at devil branch naming convention comes in useful because what this does is it ensures that these CI workflows work on the latest development version of the Admiral dependencies. So just in case you're depending on some function which hasn't yet been released to, to main branch of say Admiral Dev as a dependency, um, these workflows will, will still work through. Um, once they've all run through successfully, or maybe they haven't, and you may need to resolve uh, things, there may be merge conflicts at this stage you need to resolve. But once you're happy, um, you can then uh, select a reviewer. For the reviewer, you've got an option. You can either select somebody that you know from the Admiral Core team, maybe the person that raised the original issue, or you can use Okay, that's not working for some reason. What you can do is you can tag by leaving a comment our Admiral developers by, by doing that. And then one of them will sign up and, and take the, the review on for you. Once you, in, in practice, would, once they review, they go back and forth with any discussions. Um, you would then eventually merge once you have approval, and after you merge, 
you go back to the original issue and you click done. We don't close the issue at this stage because we leave it open for transparency for anybody that's looking at open issues, because at this stage, we haven't yet released it into main because um, we only make releases uh, usually quarterly. I think that's everything that I wanted to show you, but just a reminder that everything is here in the, the development process guide. And the biggest final thing that I'll say is, please don't be afraid to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We all have lots of learnings. There are a lot of conventions um, to remember in, in a package such as Admiral, where we want to um, ensure that the code base remains robust and, and consistent. But we really thank you for getting involved. We hope that you enjoy this uh, learning opportunity. And if ever unsure, please reach out for support via our Slack channel. Welcome to the Admiral community. We look forward to working with you.